हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुबोध किशरवानी वर्किंग विद इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी इन आई एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर कैपेसिटी द टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टुडे इज इन इज अ थर्ड लेक्चर इन अ रो विच इज़ पार्ट ऑफ अवर कोर्स कॉल्ड बी सी ओ एस वन एट्टी थ्री विच इज़ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन इन बिजनेस एंड दिस इज दिस इज़ अ थर्ड सेमेस्टर कोर्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस वेब एप्लीकेशन सो वेन यू आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस वेब एप्लीकेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू Uh, introduction to computers and then application of computers because this uh, this introduction to computers uh, had given a brief about the the computers what exactly the computers is and we have we have seen that with the change of time computer is no more a computer which talks about laptop or which talks about you know keyboard or mouse it is one step ahead to that and uh, and today's you know in a today's scenario the computer is more like a smartphone so so the second lecture was talking on you know the application of computers that how the computer is going to apply, apply in various industries either it could be you know the the financial industry or the banking industry or you know the or the e-commerce portal or the governance so the everywhere we have find out this there is a great use of application of computers and today trend talks about that without computers uh, there is no, uh, uh, the corporate world or the you know the society is not going to execute or run so anyway the third lecture is going to talk on web applications which is again a part of the four credit skill enhancement course and it's talk about you know the certain aspects and uh, if you if you if you see this uh, web application uh, there was a time when we talk about you know the website and there is a time when we talk about the applications application and and there is a time when we talk about the apps so application is nothing but an app so if you talk about this this web application app based application is going to give a give certain things in this direction and genesis behind web application is is you know this uh, goi uh, and uh, browsers then business logic then data access then web server data storage and database so if you see this uh, goi goi is nothing but a graphical user interface so uh, going into the backdrop you find out that microsoft had come up with, with their with their first operating system called disk operating system so this operating system was was purely uh, the the coding base or or uh, the and no ha features having you know the graphics so if you want to run anything if you want to execute anything you have to put the command so you have to write certain codes and that code is going to run after certain time what happened this graphical user interface had come up and uh, and from there you know the browsers have come up if, if you talk about the internet explorer which could be the first browser then you have safari then you have uh, opera then you have uh, uh, google chrome and right now lot of you know open source browsers have come up so this is a web application which had given a roof to that and from there you know the email concept had come and lot of changes coming day by day so gradually you find out that what the that everything is now going to web based i they talk about you know the brick and mortar servers or you talk about you know the storing of data or you talk about the database everything is now on the web so there is no need to you know carry the hard drives or the physical storage drives so what and the good part is that you can put the data on the web any time you can access it and any time you can open it so this is the change which had come up and and uh, you find out that database is changing business logic is changing and uh, the right now uh, there are certain virtual drives which are available as i talk about you know the the uh, microsoft one drive or google drive and these drives are are one step ahead to that so and these drives are storing the data putting the data on the cloud and and whenever you want you can open it and others can also open it so uh, this this google drive are using you know the blockchain technology which satoshi nakamoto had started initiated uh, to regulate the bitcoins but right now it is using for for this for this uh, google drive also so we will definitely talk about all those aspects and we see that how the data access is going to play a very important role because when you talk about the data access when you talk about the web server you see that uh, that uh, this is definitely going to give organization edge and and uh, virtually they are moving so software as a service are coming up infrastructure as a service are coming up and uh, lot of uh, customized or you know uh, the model is coming up where you are you are providing uh, a customized servers or data storage so what i mean to say that uh, 
that when you talk about the web application, web application is, is somewhat different from you know the web browser or the website. So we will definitely talk about it. This is this is you know the first part of the first block. We have already gone completed you know the the two two chapters and the third chapters talk about the web application. And if you go more into the depth of web applications, we will talk about that uh, we are going to talk about the web browsers and uh, web browser is also quite advanced when you compare and we are going to talk about the Google drives or the cloud based systems or you know uh, Microsoft one because uh, 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 the o approach of of you know the working on a on a drive is changing when you know people are storing the data on the cloud there was a time when when we put the put our data on the cloud the reason was that we want to store the data so anytime if the hard drives or you know the physical drive or the or the the conventional drive crashes or the storage external storage crashes we can extract the data from the from the from the online uh, sources or from the google uh, or from the crowd but right now the model had been changed we are now storing the data on the cloud or working rather we can say we are working on the cloud so that uh, we can open the applications so we can we can work on the application on real time basis so there is no need to download the data work and then upload so this phenomena had changed where we are directly opening the opening the file on the drive on the google drive or on the cloud server and edit it edit it amend it and then save it so, uh, so uh, this cloud-based system had given a roof to the individuals that they can they can work on the individual particular file at the same time at the same juncture. Uh, somebody else can also you know edit the file. So, the one in the in a, in a one file, the people are located in three different locations or n or you know ten different locations and they are simultaneously working. So, this simultaneous approach can give an edge to the uh, web applications because. Uh, the the applications are there and these web applications are uh, uh, the good example is you know the e-commerce portals where where there was a time when website was more more static in nature it was it was uh, quite uh, uh, it, it had a very limited features and that features were uh, very restricted you are you know you, ca you can't have a you know privilege to uh, amend into it but right now the model had been changed where we have observed that that uh, you can um, do a lot of amendments. You can do the shopping. You can buy the product. You can put your reviews, or and you can use as a wallet. You can you know pay your utility bills. So this had given roof to the you know web applications to to uh, work on a real time basis. So so when you go when we go more into the depth of this particular topic, you will find out that how this how this web application is. Is, is adding a feather in a cap as far as you know the e-commerce is concerned as far as you know the computer application is concerned and the use of computers in various domains is concerned so there was a time when when computers have a very limited use it was you know used for the defense it was used for the research other purpose but right now everywhere you find out this is a great use of computers and the web applications and app is something which is going to play a very important role and uh, the applica app is app is changing with the change of time for particular you know corporate house or for the particular thing the application is going to be developed which is more customized more tailor made so after studying this unit you should be able to understand web based application understand web browsers and its types no difference between brick and mortar server and cloud based servers so what I was talking about that there is a there is a great difference between brick and mortar server and cloud based server. So brick and mortar servers are 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 quite rigid in nature, are quite redundant, and uh, and uh, it's costly affairs, and it's it's requires lot of storage, lot of space, and then uh, wear and tear is very high. You have to maintain any time you know the power failure is there or other model is there. So this uh, this brick and mortar server fails. So on the other hand, this cloud-based server had taken uh, a, as a replacement and you find out that this cloud-based server is more agile, more versatile and more user-friendly and it can be more customized and more tailor-made. So that is the beauty of this cloud-based server and cost is also quite, uh, quite less. There are certain corporates who are providing the software on a login basis. So rather than you know buying a hardware or a server, you just you know take a logins. So, so for for uh, for this brick and mortar approach you have to buy make a server put the hardware then storage and other things if any things any you know uh, accident occurs in that case the whole brick and mortar servers uh, destroyed 
so but cloud based servers you just have to give take the logins and logins are uh, there are certain charges which could be for login and you can buy the logins so if if uh, if the organization is of you know uh, thousand employees they can go for thousand logins and that login is equipped with with all the features which was enabled in the software and they can store the data they can use the data they can reuse the data they can twist the data and they can customize the data and sometimes what happen uh, this uh, uh, and uh, uh, other model is also there so understand how to use google drive highlight the functions of cloud based system and its usability we will definitely throw a light on all those all those things in a more uh, elaborative manner so this is the difference between web application and website if you talk about chain and authentication is very important you can interact you can integrate integration is very important as far as website is concerned because when you talk about the website you talk about the logics when you talk about the application you talk about certain you know the procedures or the methodology and integration uh, talk believes in the totality and totality is always you know something which could be uh, 100% not 99.9%. It's the very good example is that when we go into the market to buy a a picture, uh, and the, if the if the if there could be very small hole in the picture, say a minute size hole of 0.1 mm, I think again it is useless because the water will be flow from that picture. So when you are going to talk about the integration, you have to talk in totality, and totality should be always 100%. It should not be 99.9%. So what I mean to say that uh, when you're talking about the web application, you have to take care about certain uh, certain applications, and these applications are customized and making tailor-made as per the scenario of the uh, individual. So authentication is more important because uh, today today application talks about you know the commerce. Today application talk about the use of wallets, use of uh, uh, you know this virtual currency or you know the plastic money use and uh, um, authentication is very important so if you if you talk in an indian scenario we are using a two layer of security whereas the western world is still you know based on the one time password so if you talk about uh, uh, two layer of security it, it uh, and if you have added your plastic money in any wall in, in any wallets or in any web application it first asks the cvv number which is you know given at the back of the credit card or the debit card or the plastic money and then the moment you put the cvv number it's redirect to the third uh, portal where it asks for the otp and so from there you know the bank involvement comes the cvv number you put in a in a in a static manner and it can redirect the website to the to the third uh, portal which is own which is the banking portal and that banks ask for the one time password so it is somewhat more secure as compared to that so authentication and security is going to play a very important role and if you talk about this web application it starts with the research and analysis then user centric is there then app development then test then deploy then database so web application takes into consideration this this uh, 3 to 6 channels which is which is there and now this is a web browser so a web browser is a software application when we talk about the web browser we know that that uh, when internet had been started and uh, we were having an operating system and uh, operating system when we talk about i have already talked about that there is a there is a software and and there is a hardware hardware is having a physical appearance software is having a uh, so non physical appearance but it is in the form of operating system and system software and application software and when you go more into the depth of system software you find out that it uh, system software believes in the operating system and these operating system is nothing but a windows if you talk about the microsoft if you talk about apple it could be macintos or you know the red hat or or linux which could be the uh, uh, which could be the open source operating system so op uh, open source operating systems are are the operating system in which the source are available to the users anybody can download the uh, source codes and edit it and customize it and use as per their convenience so this is the new phenomena which had recently been introduced by the by the technological world and so uh, so this give roof to the individual to to uh, you know create their own software and the coding it could be available on the website so started with with linux you see in 1990 the linux was there then you have internet explorer in uh, in 1993 then opera was there in 1996 then mozilla firefox 
then safari then and in 2008 google chrome entered which had uh, given a new way to the internet explorer because uh, it was it was a part of the google and uh, alphabet incorporation so so uh, uh, somewhat you know getting an uh, edge as compared to the internet explorer then finally the microsoft edge had come up and if you talk in a present scenario we are more talking about you know the app based uh, app based scenario where google play store is there so and this google play store is uh, is you know uh, working on on uh, on the different platform and then a lot of other operating systems had there android is there so now you can if the phone is equipped with android phones you can download the play stores and download particular app and then start working through that app so this is a different kind of web browser which is which is you know running on the on the smartphones so now the smartphone had taken replaced the computers and somewhat one step ahead to that so this application based scenario had come up so if you talk about the web browser it is graphical web browsers and non graphical web browsers so since uh, today's scenario talks about the gui interface that is graphical user interface so we are more talking about graphical web browsers so it allows using point and click method to view read and jump from one web page to another and uh, and in in a in a same you know um, smartphones we are using the cascade also like what happened this cascade facility is not that if you want to st start one window you have to you know shut down the other window then you can jump but uh, there are certain applications which are coming up which provide you know opening of three four windows three four windows at that particular platform so google chrome is a cross platform web browser developed by google that is very true and uh, this is uh, there are certain you know the applications which are which are running in as a, as a front end or back end um, if you talk about the front end the php is one of the application software which which executes the software and work on a front end basis then back end in the back end we have certain databases either it could be mysql or other things so a uh, lot of softwares are coming up open source softwares are coming up you talk about the apple is is having the macintosh then you have python then you have html then php is there and then android is also there working as a, a software applications which which is used for the uh, uh, for the smartphones then wordpress is is developing lot of uh, you know the tailor made customized websites or the application which is available ready reckoner kind of and available on the web so anybody can download that then java is there then coffee beans is there so this is a way by which you know the front end back end works so if you talk this google drive google drive is a five storage and synchronization for launch in 2012 and uh, this google drive philosophy believes in 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 a real time storage of data and what i was talking of and if you store any file any any slides or any sheets or any forms in into that google drive you can if you give access or if you are given access or the ownership to the different people they can do lot of addition into it so this addition can go on and there is a storage of 15 gb or which is free in nature and if you go over and over to that there it's somewhat you know having a optional paid plan so so this is a model which is there and if you talk about the g suite g suite is a secure integrated cloud based collaboration so you see how the how the pedagogy had been changed and uh, there was a time when in 2006 this gmail philosophy had been started and uh, finally what happened the the drive had come up and and you see right now this uh, this uh, this google g suite is equipped with the with the google dios where you can do the video callings or the video meets and other things so google meet is also one of the platform or virtual meet platform is there so starting from 2006 to 2019 lot of changes is coming up where we were just you know communicating through email but right now we are communicating more through virtual mode like microsoft team or you know the uh, uh, google meet or or some other platforms which are there so so we are just moving there's a paradigm shift from from you know making a powerpoint presentation which was you know a product of microsoft to uh, a google suit which is having you know a google uh, sheet or or google presentations so uh docs form sheets slides and drawings are there and lot of other creativity is coming up where google drawings allows users to collaborate creating sharing and editing images or drawing that is more important so with the change of time what we observe that that technology is changing and lot of applications are coming up which is providing a roof to the individual to to change in a more uh, frequent manner or 
revamp the things in a in other things so uh, google documents google spreadsheets and presentation is one of the steps in this direction where we are just you know working on the text in a, in a cloud manner no need of storing the data if you for any reason if you know if the file is open and you have not got an opportunity to save it automatically it will be saved so because you are working on a, on a real time basis on a server so spreadsheet documents and presentations and the beauty is that if you are whatever the amendments whatever the corrections you are making in it at the same time others can also view it and they can make the corrections and and those who are the owner those who are having a you know full right they can see who had edited or you know rectified the particular file at what time so the date time when everything is coming you know so there is more uh, chances of 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 fulfillness so file storage and synchronization service is there and when you talk about this file storage and synchronization service it's a two way synchronization so uh, uh, it's more by directional or both way synchronization is going on whereas when you talk about you know the other mode of thing it's a one way synchronization so here um, uh, the recipient and the sender both are you know working simultaneously and getting the other things so this cloud based system if you talk about uh, this cloud based system is a new technology and providing computing services serves storage database networking intelligence and uh, over the internet at lower cost and the if you see this uh, cloud based service is cloud computing started with the application then you have database then hybrid cloud is there then public cloud is there then private cloud is there then server is there then storage is there so uh, right and uh, this cloud computing is is quite costly affair it's not like that that uh, that it is available for all and because there are certain servers which are now you know taken care by by the by the big corporates and uh, uh, we all know that uh, there are certain companies who are you know dominating this this cloud computing market amazon is one of the company and when we talk about amazon we think that amazon is a e-commerce portal but it's not like that uh, they are the one who are who are into the web streaming and the product is prime uh, video and on the other hand aws server is there and aws as server is one of the most powerful servers in the world because the the capacity capacity is uh, somewhat you know five times or 10 times what you know social networking sites are are using the servers like uh, facebook is having uh, you know a servers which is uh, which have got you know facilities to provide the and storing the data on the cloud computing because they have got billions of users and and their 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 text messages their video messages their their images and other storage are are available over there but but uh, uh, but the aws server is somewhat you know more strong when you compare with that because because uh, facebook you know pro uh, uh, provides uh, the in house facility to their to their users but aws is somewhat providing services for, for the e-commerce portal as well as to the other portals also uh, which take their services so cloud based computing is an application based software infrastructure that stores data on remote servers and which can be accessed through the internet so internet you know availability is one of the important challenge which need to be uh, taken care by the by the under developed countries and if you talk about the india i think this internet is is going to be reach uh, in in all the domains in all the all the jurisdictions because ultimately when you talk about when you talk about you know the technology when you talk about the application you have to talk in totality and integration is going to play a very important role and if the integration is not there if if things are not integrated ultimately what happen there would be a challenge so uh, there would be a front end enables uh, uh, users to access data stored in the cloud using an internet browser or a cloud computing software are there so this cloud computing software is also uh, available in the market which uh, which which uh, which is able to uh, you know provide the services and on the other hand this saas pass and ias are three main paradigms of cloud computing infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service because when you talk about software as a service you are more talking about the customization and uh, customization is something which is very important in the present scenario if if uh, if, uh, if we are not going to customize ourselves and uh, ultimately uh, things are not going to be you know tailor made for the particular users if you uh, the very good example is the indira gandhi national open university example i think uh, the beauty of the indira gandhi national open university is the contents and from the day one we have customized the content for the users we have 
we have designed the contents, we have made the SLM in a more uh, customized manner which could be you know used for the learners. So ready Ragnar kind of uh, booklets are there which could be bifurcated into bl blocks and then you know the units. So intention is very clear that uh, courses are and the programs are designed or tailor made so that it can directly you know f uh, serve the purpose of the individual. So so if you if you talk about this uh, this software as a service this is also going to play a very important role where login base or you know customized features are there. and. Uh, if you see this particular software, if you see the utility of the software, this is again a big challenge because uh, there are certain surveys, there are certain you know thoughts which had been uh, shared by by the people that uh, that if the software have got the hundred percent features, only ten to twenty percent features are going to be used. The the good example is the Microsoft Word or you know the Microsoft PowerPoint or you know uh, the day-to-day -day software which we are using. We we are only using you know certain portions of it and there are certain features which which is definitely uh, uh, going to be useful but we are not familiar with that so uh, this is something where uh, where things are going to play a very important role and if you are going to use utilize the services if you are going to utilize the the software service as in totality i think somewhere the things are going to be done so uh, this uh, this cloud based system is more talking about you know the customization or you know the features which is going to be tailor made or designed for the particular organization so so when the when any company or any big companies or the erp companies like uh, sap ag which is a german based vendor develop any package they make a generalized package they make a generalized package for the e commerce industry but or make the generalized package for the medical industry or for the health industry or for the you know the education industry but uh, every university, every uh, uh, system have got their own USP and way of you know doing the things. So uh, for that they need a customizations. If you talk about Indira Gandhi University, which is a central university, and if you talk about, compare Indira Gandhi University with Delhi University, it's all together different ball game. Delhi University, uh, you know, uh, runs on on uh, on the. Uh, with the with the colleges and these colleges are more you know inclined towards the face to face education where if you talk about indira gandhi national open university it is having a three tier approach that is regional centers and study centers but but the uh, students are learning through through distance mode so for that if you, the if you know the platform need to be developed or the software need to be developed no doubt for for one uh, you know university that there must be a different software and for for other university there must be a different software so this is something which is is going to play a very important role and what I mean to say uh, that uh, this cloud based system is, is, is very important and if you are moving towards the cloud based model, if you are moving towards the cloud based uh, uh, analysis, you can away from the brick and mortar mode. So uh, this web application is, uh, is, uh, is something which is a need of an hour and this web application talks about the research analysis, user centric approach and uh, uh, how you are going to deploy the things. Uh, that is more important. So what I was talking about, I think uh, we have talked a lot about this web applications and uh, we see that uh, this web based application is, 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 is something uh, which is uh, uh, one step ahead to uh, the, the present scenario because we have moved from uh, web browser to, uh, to web based and website based phenomena is now changing and the application based phenomena is coming up. And uh, if you talk, if you take example of e-commerce or or the use of computers in application business, I think uh, this uh, this web-based application is is one step ahead to that because this web-based application is uh, is is purely talking about the application-based uh, thing. So uh, you talk about the gaming, if you talk about you know the education, all in in every aspect, this this analysis is coming up. This enable approach is coming up so this uh, there is a web browser and uh, and this and as far as the google drive example which i was quoting about this google drive is uh, is uh, as we know that uh, it's follow the blockchain technology and uh, this blockchain technology is somewhat uh, you know working as a real time manner we have uh, we have already thrown a light on on this uh, on this particular thing the fourth uh, unit is going to talk somewhat in a different manner and uh, this computer application business if you if you see as a whole uh, the, this computer application business talks about the usage of computers in business 
and the the definition of business is changing with the with the change of e-commerce with the change of uh, this this commerce and um, and uh, there is a great use of application because uh, now the application is is running on the smartphones or you know the uh, the, the smartphones and uh, in a uh, through through androids and uh, there there is a use of it i think we have talked a lot and in a, in a coming sessions we are going to talk more about uh, uh, the particular uh, theme which is related with computer application in business thank you very much